I'm Anil Kumar. Let us learn a technique of estimating product of decimal numbers. Here we'll first estimate product of decimal numbers with whole numbers and then we'll see product of two decimal numbers. So I'll have four examples of each kind. You can always copy these questions, answer and then look into my suggestions. 2.5 times 14, 3.2 times 24, 4.9 times 12, 6.7 times 8. This is what you need to estimate, right? So let's first estimate. We'll also check using calculator how good our estimate was. Okay. Now the first one here is 2.5 times 14. So that really means we have to do 2 times 14 plus 0.5 is like half, right? Plus half of 14, right? That is what it means. So 2 times 14 is 28 plus half of 14 is 7. And if you add them, what you get is 35, correct? So 35 is our estimate. Now, if you multiply, what do you get? 2.5 times 14 is equal to, the answer is exactly 35, right? So we do get 35 here. Now, if that is the case, two and a half types, you can estimate perfectly as we've done here. Now, let's look into the second example, which is 3.2 times 24. Now, this really means it is 3 times 24 plus extra, which is smaller amount. It is just 0 0.2, right? So 3 times 24 is 72 plus something extra. So what you can do is that extra portion, you can think about, see, this is like 20. Think like this, 20 times 2. Do you see that? 20 times decimal 2, right? So that gives you 4, right? So you could use 4 as extra value, giving us a result of 76. Does it make sense? Check the place value, right? So this is like 20 and this is decimal 2. So it is kind of adding 4, right? Let us see how good this estimate is. 3.2 times 24. We get let me check the exact value 76.8 right 76.8 so the answer here is 76.8 as you can see these are fairly accurate right now let's do the next one 4.9 can be rounded to 5 so we could do 5 times 12 now this time we have rounded higher, so we're looking for less by 0 0.1 times, let's say 10, which is 1. So we have to less 1. Do you see that? So what we get here is 60 minus 1, which is 59. So 59 is fairly good estimate. Let us check our answer. So we have 4.9 times 12 equals to, in decimals, 58.8, right? 58.8. So we get 58.8, which are again very close, right? So which is also very close. The last is 6.7 times 8. Now we can round this higher, which is 7 times 8, which is 56. And we have to less, which is minus. So approximately, because this is less than 10, we can say approximately 6, right? Just simple calculation. So we'll do minus 6 and estimate this as 50. I know this is not a very good estimate. It should be less 0.3 times 8, right? So we'll do minus 2, not 6. So if I do minus 2, we estimate 54, right? We just added 0.3. So we have to take away 0.3 times 8, which is 24. That means 2, right? So 54 is our estimate. Let us check the answer.
we get what? 6.7 times 8 equals to, in decimals, 58.6. Um, sorry, 53.6. So let's check this answer. Again, it is 6.7 times 8, which is in decimals 53.6, which is very close to 54, right? So you should understand that we rounded 0.3 higher. So we have to take 0.3 times 8 away, which is 8 times 3 is 24. So we took away 2 giving us 54. A slightly higher number would have given accurate answer. So with this exercise, you understand that you can accurately, fairly accurately estimate product of decimal numbers with whole numbers, correct? Now let's take a product of two decimal numbers. So we have four more questions. We'll see how to estimate product of two decimal numbers. The first one is 2.8 times 11.2. So let us round them. This number 2.8 could be rounded to 3, right? And 11.2 could be rounded to 11. Now since we rounded that higher, we went this side up and this side low, we have fairly good estimate, right? So, so the result here is 33. Let us check this result. We have 2.8 times 11.2. It does give in decimals 31.36, which is fairly accurate, right? So, so it is not a bad estimate at all. Now that helps since one is being rounded higher, the other one lower, you can just estimate one number rounding helps so in this we just did the strategy to round now next one 3.2 and 6.3 now in both we have to round lower right 3.2 could be written as 3 6.3 as 6 now since we rounded both lower we should add extra so in this case it should be 3 times 6 plus something extra now what should be that number that is your judgment right so 18 plus something correct now that something since these numbers are very small right so we could say let this number be 2 so we'll estimate this to let's say 20 correct now let's check our estimate we have 3.2 times 6.3 equals to in decimals it is 20.16 so it's fairly close do you see that next here is 4.9 so that could be estimated higher 3.8 also higher and we can take away something right so so what we'll do here is we'll do 5 times 4 and then we'll take away which is we'll do less some number less how much now 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 let's say less 2 right so small number so what we will do here is 5 times 4 less 2 which is equal to 20 less 2 as 18 our estimate let's multiply 4.9 with 3.8 we get a decimal number 18.62 so I hope you are getting confidence of estimating fairly accurately right 6.5 times 8.5 now here we could do one option of increasing one decreasing the other right so that means we could do two things 6 rounded up will be 7 so and that rounded down so 7 times 8 we could go the other way also that is to say six times this rounded up nine right we could do both and take average seven times eight is 56 nine times six is 54 do you see that so we could estimate let's say 55 somewhere in between but either way you go you get fairly accurate estimate right 
Let's check our result. So we have 6.5 times 8.5 equals to, in decimals, 55.25. Now, if you check these two columns, one, what we estimated, and what we calculated, you will find they are very close. So this technique of estimating product of decimal number really works. I'd like you to go through this video once again, try to understand the strategy we have applied, and then do some practice questions from your book. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.